Hey everybody, uh, this is another episode just focusing on the app and uh, for the new little sub-series, which I'm calling Garden of Forking Paths, which takes its name from a story about a labyrinth that is a story I've always loved. And um, so, uh, let's take a look. Um, I added a new feature uh, last night into the app, and it is that now we can um, invert the chord that we're on. So I'm on A flat dominant seventh, and I have two keys, and these are, um, you can find them in the keyboard shortcuts. They're right at the bottom of the list. Notice that I spelt inversion down here correct, incorrectly, and wily. But it is true that inversion is wily. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, I hit the keys that control that, little bracket keys. Now this has an immediate functionality for if you wanted to learn these chords, you could, uh, you could use those keys and just move only through those chords. So that's one thing that you can do. Instead of going through the whole scale, which is provided by the movement keys, which are the arrows. Now you can just play, play that way. And then also you can move to the diminished and I can arpeggiate the diminished, which is nice. Another thing that is interesting is um, that uh, uh, going upwards will get you one extra chord in the high range, and going downwards will get you one extra chord in the low range, or at least a lot of the times that's the case. So, see, I'm way up at the 13th fret, which on my classical guitar is not something I'm ever going to play, but um, electric guitars with other guitarists might find that uh, feasible. But uh, when I'm on, on an electric guitar, I could do that. I, I play electric too much. But um, now going downwards, I get to that chord. So I'll just only go up and I'll cycle through it. See, the fourth fret is lowest, but now if I hit downward, it accesses this. But now I don't go up to that super high fret. Now, it's fun to play around. I'm going to put my left hand on the bracket keys and my right hand on the uh, uh, movement keys, on the arrow keys, and you can kind of, I'm just kind of improvising. I'm just goofing off, alternating, hitting one of the, uh, one of the, uh, what do you call it, inversion keys and one of the movement keys, which is what I'm going to have to call these now. Movement is when we're moving through the scale. Inversion is when we're just inverting the chord, which is uh, changing what's in the bass. So I think that's really pretty. Um, I was really delighted to see that kind of behavior. And then um, looking at, say, a tune, we'll take Body and Soul. And I'm going to do this out of time. I'm going to use my space bar. I'm just going to use the harmonies as exploration. Um, imagine that this isn't even Body and Soul, but I'm just using these chords. I'm just trying to show you how musical uh, the uh, inversions can be. So all I'm doing is using the space bar and the inversion keys. Yeah, I'm going to go back to that nice tempo that I was at. And uh, so that was around here, I think. Um, yeah, like that. So, so I go. That pretty and then you could combine it with um, uh, the movement keys and you get stuff like this you know and that's pretty wild and I don't know I mean it's I, I, I haven't messed with it that much but then you're just going through So 
sometimes you hear a clashing note and that's because I have a lot of reverb on right now. So it's clashing because of that. And uh, I'm going to uh, just let you guys know that I am going to have some sound design options uh, in probably the next very next update, um, but coming really soon. And that's just going to change and make more options for the synthesizer. Uh, one person uh, brought up that uh, on their computer when just playing through the speakers, this sounds a little muddy. And I think that's totally fair to say. And uh, I'm playing this through studio monitors. And I like the sound, but there is a lot of low end because it is sine waves. And um, and so I will we'll still have this sound available and you can change the sound in the synthesizer, but um, which is found you know here and here's our synthesizer. But this will have a couple more options for if you need a little more clarity in your system or a little, little or just some variety for fun. So I'll be doing that. It's fun to do. Um, now, uh, I will do another video. I'll, I'll put it in a whole other episode so you can watch um, that we'll, we're going to go through Body and Soul and we're going to add a phrase to it or maybe the whole tune. We'll try it out. Thank you for watching and uh, more to come. I've really had a lot of fun with this launch with you guys.